First of all, I'd like to uh, mention that this NCC meeting will be Ustreamed. So I'd like to have your per permission and agreement that it's going to be Ustreamed. And we don't uh, kind of uh, broadcast your audience faces. And also, uh, I'd like to introduce a special uh, correspondence from Tokyo, as I seem to covering this annual meeting. Mr. Ikeda is here from Tokyo, and if he approached to you about in interview you about the Japanese results in, in overseas, please share your comments with him <laughs> and impress the how important librarians are and how important the access to Japanese resources is to promote Japan in the world. And also, I like to introduce. Uh, I'm not just uh, uh, not kind of. Uh, giving a special uh, 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 favor to these people, but I'd like to introduce Nikkei America people because they don't have a booth, and they, like to, they are here, so if you have a question about Nikkei Telecom or Nikkei products, please talk to them after the meeting. And thank you very much for JPT supporting the MCC multi-volume set uh, project uh, for many years. And Mr. Cohen is there, and thank you very much. So let's begin. And first of all, I'd like to congratulate the successful completion of the Junior Japanese Studies Librarian Training Workshop on March uh, 12 and 13. And this workshop was initiated by the members of uh, the Professional Librarian Training Committee in the beginning, two years ago. And I'd like to thank uh, Makino-san and Noguchi-san for great advice. And the Canadian uh, librarians to uh, organize this event. And I'd like to thank you, Japan Foundation in Toronto office. They made an extra effort to make the, this uh, grant from foundation, Japan Foundation happen and made this training possible. And I'd like to thank the University of Toronto Library and uh, <laughs> trainers and librarians and Maruzen-san and Net Advance-san, Yomiri shinbun participating and helping this uh, workshop more meaningful. There is a uh, good news. There is a gift from Japan Foundation, this pink book. Uh, Japan Society. Japan Society in New York City. <laughs> uh, part up on the uh, gate at the entrance. And please, uh, one library for, one, one book for one library, please. <laughs> and please uh, bring it back uh, to your institution, treasure this. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce our new chair, new elect, uh, chair elect, Miss. Kuniko McVeigh. Uh, she's a librarian for Japanese collection Harvard Yenchen Library. And right now she she studied chair uh, elect from January 1st this year. She will be chair next year from 2013 uh, to 2015. Uh, please welcome Kuniko-san here. <laughs> And I thank, uh, we thank the committee members, nomination committee members. Toki, Ms. Tokiko Basel was a chair and she organized uh, this nomination committee very quickly last May and everybody knows how efficient she, she was and she organized, she sent out the news and the nomination committee gathered a lot of nomination and selected recommendation and the Kuniko-san was selected. Thank you very much for the nomination committee members. I'd like to introduce new members of Japan Art Catalog, Jack Project. Uh, Jack Pro uh, Project, uh, they have a new member in Tokyo at the National Art Center. Uh, Ms. Tomoko Obata uh, is a right person, right side person, library research assistant. De Dr. Eri Taniguchi, researcher, library and information service. And they are working at the Jack Project. And this time I'd like to share the news uh, about Jack project. Japan Art, Ca uh, Japan Art Catalog project, uh, Japanese museums donate their museum, their exhibition catalogs to National Art Center, Tokyo. And when 
this museum have a duplicates, they send us uh, one copy Japanese uh, Western art catalogs to Columbia University Library and Asian art catalogs to the Free Air Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Several Japanese corporations donate handling expenses. And every year, the, these two officers of Japan Art Cadre Project in Tokyo have to make a report to the donors. And as you can understand, with this economic recession, there is less museum catalogs arriving, donating to the museum. Also, they are receiving less uh, corporation, like a financial donation from corporation. And they are very wor uh, working very hard to make a good report, assure that this product is very useful. For example, uh, the Free Air inter uh, Interlab uh, they the Free Air, they received a total uh, 7,416 7, Asian art catalogs and the catalog property, and then they are. ILA loan is, is increasing. And please send your comments from your users and your comments as a librarian to Vicky Vesto, the executive director. So we will send your uh, comments and the comments from your uh, users to the JAT project officers in Tokyo. They are going to include your comments, the, how important uh, to con how important it is to continue this project uh, in their report and to show them to don donors. Next, I'd like to just go back to what MCC is because I just want to, I, I have, we have many young, uh, not, not young, the new, <laughs> new uh, participants <laughs> today. <laughs> but, and also, uh, some may be still confused. I have been confused for eight years. So I just want to uh, just share. Uh, because MCC annual meeting is held during the Council of East Asian Libraries uh, meetings. Many people mix with this organization and MCC. But NCC, which has a long name, North American Coordinating Council on Japanese Library Resources, NCC is separate organization from SEAL. And SEAL is a, uh, the Council of East Asian Libraries. It's under Association for Asian Studies. And Association for Asian Studies kind of lectures, scholar uh, scholars, presentation will start this evening and tomorrow. Uh, and usually SEAL, Council of East Asian Libraries, have a meeting two days before AAS conferences. And during the pre-conference SEAL, NCC has annual meeting. And, and under Council of East Asian Libraries, the SEAL, the word you often hear, SEAL, there is a, uh, committees, many committees. And one of them is CJM. That you hear the word CJM often is a committee of Japanese materials. So CJM belongs to SEAL, SEAL belongs to AAS, NCC is different, and we do a lot of projects to promote access to Japanese library resource. Uh, so NCC uh, will re uh, is receiving the funding from Japan US Friendship Commission. This is a US external government organization. And also Japan Foundation. This is an external uh, government organization of Japan. And other smaller foundations are funding to do a lot of projects. And we have an executive director, Vicky Vesto, and because we have to maintain the operation of projects. And chair is always librarian, selected by librarian. Me and uh, Kuniko-san will be a chair from next year, and librarians who are doing a lot of projects, and we are all volunteers. And NCC also has faculty members involved in sharing their needs, because we are supporting library materials to sustain Japanese studies programs in North America. And we have digital source committees, 
ILDD committees and multi MVS is another word you hear often, multi-volume set MVS. And MVS is a, uh, we funded by Japan US Friendship Commission, also J uh, JPT is offering a lot of donations to sustain this uh, multi-volume set project. We also have a lot of working group groups working on specific projects such as IUP. IUP is another word you often hear, Image Use Protocol, uh, Cooperative Collection Development. So today we are going to, uh, uh, the, some of the committees and some uh, working groups share progress reports and announcement in these annual meetings. Let me show you the map of the major Japanese studies programs with Japanese studies librarians or East Asian librarians with actual budget to uh, actual budget for Japanese studies collection. There are about 44, 45 in North America. But according to the directory of Japan specialists and Japanese studies institutions uh, uh, by the Japan Foundation, there are 266 full institutions in North America. Uh, only 17% of the 260 full institutions has Japanese studies librarian or East Asian librarians. NCC goal for next this decade is support the libraries, the major libraries, as well as smaller institutions which doesn't have, uh, which don't have the library librarians. So we did uh, work last year. We did a team building workshop for to helping the faculty member. Uh, without Japanese studies librarians. We also do global cooperation to enhance access to Japanese academic resources with Japanese libraries like National Diet Library, National Institute of Info Informatics, Japanese universities, and European universities. And again, one of the goals of NCC to expand networking global uh, cooperation and strength the uh, access to Japanese resources together in the world. <laughs>